Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, right now I'm going to do an Antutu benchmark for the uh, Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. Now I've been meaning to do the Antutu benchmark test for a while now. So I finally got it downloaded. Um, what I did was I downloaded the Lite version. It's uh, Android uh, Antutu Lite V9.3.9. And we're going to go ahead and uh, run this test and see what uh, the score is here. Now uh, I'm assuming that it's going to be pretty decent, but... You never know. Let's go ahead and uh, start it up. All right, guys. So here's a score. 473,729. Now, what does this mean? Well, if you were to compare a flagship from, let's say, last year. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab one right now. I'm going to grab the Z Flip 4. Okay, now we're going to compare the scores here. Now you can see the Z Flip 4 here it has a score of 906,515. Now this has a, a uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, and uh, this one has the uh, Exynos processor. So uh, the difference is double, uh, pretty much. But does that mean that the performance is uh, better? Uh, is it twice as better? Uh, if that's a word, <laughs> twice as much, twice as good as the. Uh, a54 is the uh, S uh, is the uh, Z Flip 4 just uh, twice as good. To be honest with you, I think it's not twice as good. I think it's probably ten times better. <laughs> um, uh, these scores are just pretty much um, just kind of gives you an idea. But if we look at uh, let's go ahead and look at that score here and look at where this one excels versus this one. So this one excels in um, CPU performance. Uh, excels in um, memory uh, excels in uh, GPU. GPU is hands down much better here. Uh, I'm not saying that this phone isn't good. This phone is a really uh, well-rounded phone and it performs really, really well. This phone is just blazing fast. I mean, this is a blazing quick phone. And so, um, you know, if you were to compare them side by side, I mean, this is just, this is just hands down, just a much quicker phone, much quicker experience. Let's go ahead and Open up the phone app here. Blazing fast. Blazing fast. Yeah, I mean, blazing fast. I mean, it's just, there's no there's no question um, that the Z Flip 4 is just much faster, but that's why it's also much more expensive. So with all that, you put this one to the side here and get back to this one. Now that score that I just showed you on this phone, um, believe it or not, is still a very good score. Because if you were to go ahead and compare this score to a flagship of two or three years ago, this this phone and this score can uh, run neck and neck with like an S20 or a you know Note 20. Um, this is a very good score. And I think um, this is probably more comparable to like a Snapdragon, you know, 855, maybe 865. But uh, <clears throat> all in all, this is very very good. And so we, here we have that. Uh, Let's go ahead and look at our rankings here and see what the rankings say. So the rankings here tell us that this phone, um, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this stuff here. All right, let's get out of this thing. Go back to rankings. I guess I gotta click something here. Never mind. Let's go ahead, it should tell us the rankings, but if not, okay, I'm gonna stop this. All right, so let's go back to ranking. All right, this is not language friendly for me. This is the lighter version, so. Um, I don't think that that should matter though, but so it says one, but I guess uh, this must, might be a, a number one ranking in that category. But all in all, um, this is a very good phone. This is a very good phone. You can pick this phone up right now, I think on Cricket, I mean, or Metro by T-Mobile. I think it was like $19.99 if you poured in a number. So yeah, is this is the Z Flip 4 better? Of course it is, but it's also $1,000 and there's no trade-in deals on this phone until the Z Flip 5 comes out and you would have to go through Samsung. So believe it or not, this is still a very good phone, a very good score. I remember my uh, Pixel 5, I think that I think the score on that phone was only like 350,000 and it had a Snapdragon 765. So um, all in all, it's a very good phone. And uh, the Antutu is more than decent. Um, like I said, if you have an S9, or S9 Plus, Note 9, um, even a Note 10, this phone can bang with those phones. Um, of course, the you know the newer models are going to be newer flagships are just going to you know smoke this. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter. 
So, all in all, guys, I hope this helps. Um, and if you can pick this boy up for, you know, free or on any trade-in, or, you know, if you can go through Samsung and maybe get a deal on it, um, I, I definitely recommend it. Um, I wouldn't spend $500 for it or 400 but I would definitely spend, you know, on a good day, uh, 150 if I can get a good trade-in or if I can go to, like, you know, a carrier and get it for free or, you know, $20 or $40 or $50 or whatever. It's a great choice, guys. So, hope this helps. Hope you guys like the video. If you enjoy your content, please don't forget to subscribe down below. And until next time, stay blessed.